Hi, I'm Taylor, and I'm here with Coach Kelly to talk about the Soaring Hawk Mentor Program. And for those of for those students who don't know, would you like to introduce yourself and tell us a little bit about what you do here? Absolutely. My name is Coach Kelly, and I'm the student success coach here at Armwood, as well as the boys' basketball coach. But the student success program, I work with kids who are maybe struggling academically with attendance, sometimes with behavior, and try to coach them to be successful and eventually walk across the stage and graduate high school. What is the Soaring Hawk Mentor Program? Soaring Hawk's mentorship program is something we started a few years ago. Um, it's We take incoming freshmen who maybe are struggling with that transition from middle school to high school, and we pair them up with strong uh, seniors and juniors and some sophomores, and we try to support them academically, support them with uh, maybe some of the choices they have to make in life, um, You know, some of the high school peer pressure t type situations, and we just try to help those freshmen be as successful as possible their freshman year. And what ways would they support them? Um, we try to pair them by lunch. So that means 50 minutes a day, they always have a period together where they can go over classwork, where they can talk about life, where they can talk about um, choices here at Armwood. You know, are you making the right choices, the wrong choices? Um, they lead by example because obviously we expect them to be, um, you know, leaders in the classroom, leaders on the campus. And anything that they, they, they feel like they need help with, they can go to their, their mentor and, and talk to them about it and the mentors have already done it. They've, they've lived the, the Armwood freshman life, and they, they were successful at it, so they're just trying to pass that knowledge on. Who is eligible for this program? We focus mostly on juniors and seniors, but there are some sophomores that make the exception. Um, we, we prefer a 2.5 GPA or higher. Uh, minimal discipline, you know, your, your junior or senior year. We don't mind if you did maybe slip up your freshman year because then you can relate sometimes to these kids who are making poor choices um, in the classroom and in the hallways. And sometimes you can show them, like, look, this is the struggle I had to go through to get myself back on track, and you don't want to go through that struggle. So it's not always – you know, clean discipline record from the time you came into Armwood, but definitely now when you are in that mentorship role, you can't be constantly getting in trouble and things of that nature. What is the application process, process, process for this? Right now, we're having them Edsby me, um, send me a message on Edsby if they want to be a mentor. And then I'm kind of looking into their, you know, their, their background, their GPA, their attendance, because you got to be here if you're a mentor. You can't have, you know, crazy attendance where you're missing a lot of school. So I look into it and then I, e I hit them back or email them back and say that, you know, yes, we want you as a mentor or no, unfortunately, you don't meet the criteria. Aside from the attendance record and the um, GPA above a 2.5, what is the ideal mentor that you, you're looking for? People who are positive role models on our campus, people who are making the right choices, who are leading by example. Um, so like we said, obviously GPA, attendance, um, low behavior, but just kids who we enjoy having on campus and that you know are going to show them the right way to you know, be an Armwood Hawk. What do the mentors have to gain from this, from mentoring a freshman? Good question. Mentors do get an hour of community service a week. Uh, I know it doesn't sound like a lot, but if you think about every week that you're in school, you get one hour of community service by the time it's graduation time or the end of the year, if you're a junior or sophomore, you, you've accumulated quite a few hours of community service. Obviously, when you're applying for college, you can put on your, you know, your application that you were part of a mentorship program at Armwood, so it looks good. Um, letters of recommendation from myself and other, um, you know, administrators on on campus, and so not only are you giving back to Armwood, with that that feels good too, knowing that you're giving back and making a difference and leaving uh, a legacy, but then you also are earning those community service hours and, you know, helping you be more attractive to colleges during that application process. All right, thank you so much, Coach Kelly. Thank you. Okay, Austin, we're here today to review your graduation requirements, and I saw that you have not passed the Algebra EOC. So we'll be taking that test soon on it so we can say that you've passed that graduation benchmark. Okay. Hey, what you doing? Studying for the PSAT. Why? That doesn't even matter. It does matter because if I get a 430 on the PSAT, I don't have to retake my Algebra 1 EOC. For real? For real? For real. <coughs> I don't know. 